Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we're at Jurassic World the Exhibition at San Diego here at the Mission Valley Mall. We're gonna show you everything that there is to do here. So let's go and let's have some fun at Jurassic World. Currently we are randomly walking around Mission Valley Mall looking for the Jurassic World, the exposition, exhibition, whatever it's called. <laughs> and we cannot find it. Amy found dinosaur paw prints on the ground. It's the only reason that we found which way we're supposed to be going. <laughs> so the, uh, the paw prints lead you to a bathroom. So I think we're gonna go and follow the paw prints the other direction. This is entirely too complicated. Here we go, exhibit entrance. Right over here, you can see these people all queued up and things. There's actually another parking lot right next to Bed Bath & Beyond. It's probably the best parking lot for coming to Jurassic World. Uh, so they handed me this QR code on my way in. This is so that I can get photos taken and then I can check out my photos online if I want to purchase them. So it looks like they've got a little photo op here and another line to get into the main portion of the exhibit. Everyone, welcome. My name is Chris. I am your steward for the day. I am here to get you underway. So it's like we're currently in a ferry boat that's going to take us over to the island. First thing that we get to do is come take photos with the big dinosaur here. Here's like a little there you go. photo center. And you've got to get Let's get QR you inside. QR you up there. Jamie scans her QR code. There you go. Oh, I'm going to get out of the way. Did it go? I don't oh. know. Do you know what her name is? Oh, I guess it's a video. It yeah. looks like a Harry Potter picture. <laughs> so there's something in these spyglass things. We're going to check it out and see what, what this is all about. So it's kind of like, you know, you get to look around the reserve and you focus on a dinosaur and it'll give you some information about that dinosaur. Now we're going into the Hammond Creation Lab, it looks like, although there's a dinosaur right over here off to our right. The baby dinosaurs. And over here we have some eggs. This is a big egg. See what we got. You can, you can touch it and uh, see there's probably the big egg. That's my guess. There's that dinosaur. Oh, I can touch it here. Oh, that's cool. We can see inside the egg. Let's uh, see a velociraptor because everyone loves velociraptors. Oh, look at the baby raptor. So cute. Uh, dino droppings? Droppings? Dino droppings? So it looks like they actually have two egg machines. Amy was over here playing with this egg machine while I was at the other one. Um, but you can look at the, the different eggs. There's a. Let's keep going. It's like now where are we going? Ooh. The raptors. Echo. Beta, Charlie, Delta. That's pretty lifelike though, the movement of the eyes. Of course, it's really just the eyes. They're doing a little bit with the mouth too. But. Occasionally there are choke points like this where there's a screen up on the wall telling us when we can go in. So we're, we're stuck over here until that timer and then they'll let a, a group of people go through the door. Amy found another, uh, another screen. Here, our scientists, rangers, and handlers work with velociraptors, gaining insight into how they think, move, and hunt. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue! Headed into 
to a dig site where it looks like we've got some paintbrushes here and we can Oh, did you find one? You found one? It's like I gotta brush really hard to see mine. Here, share your strategy. There's a sign here on the wall that says meet baby bumpy. Uh, I don't see baby bumpy here. Now, I'm gonna bring her out and you're able to put her the top of her head just like that and she loves it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's see her. Okay. Now Bumpy here, she is, besides just being adorable, she is super friendly. She is food motivated. Totally <laughs> throwing her head Bumpy. Rotating 32 feet long. 12 <laughs> this is a very guided uh, uh, aspect, like this whole exhibit, so there's nobody over at the dig site anymore. They're all over here meeting Baby Bumpy, and, and we can't progress forward until the, uh, uh, you know, the, the appropriate time, so... Um, yeah, you know, take your time and enjoy things. You will be, you know, carted along, though, at the appropriate time. Okay, oh, we have some meat hanging. We're gonna do some feeding. Gyros here. Ooh, the the ground is very soft and squishy. I guess you get to take photos with the gyros here. That'll be fun. So the gyrosphere is a nice, cool thing that you can climb in, get photos, that sort of thing. And this is just a nice, like, room as well. And then over here, they've got a informational. Um, screen and what have you, but I think that's really all that's in this room is the gyrosphere uh, for, for getting photos and everybody takes their turn, so it's uh, a little slow going. Please say hello to our new baby raptor! Right now, but don't underestimate her size. She already has some very sharp teeth. Wait, don't get too close. You see her teeth? She is a very, very dangerous Dinosaur, we keep y'all's fingers away from those shark teeth. We don't want to lose any fingers today. Come on. Oh, 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 these doors right oh, over here. Oh, Walking right this way. We're going to go all the way up against that back gate. Right on that all right, so if I had a hundred percent, my name is Rachel Gallery, and this is my partner, Rachel Gallery. Yeah. We are highly trained professionals here at Jurassic World. We're you know, basically one of our dinosaurs decided to sneak out and go on a little walk without telling anybody. <laughs> Is how cute. Oh, look at the Lophosaurus Funko Pop. Yeah. Jurassic World the exhibition. We got some plushies, headbands. Aww. Whoops. I just knocked a bunch off. But look at your little blue. 
He's a cute little blue. Just have a regular plain black shirt with a logo. Nice uh, posters, the posters that they had out front. Yeah. Gyrosphere, and where's the Mosasaurus? There it is. That's a really nice one. I like that one a lot. Here's a T-Rex mug. Water bottle, T-Rex water bottle. We have some Jurassic World hats here. Not really my style, they're more flat build. I don't really do flat build hats. Ooh. What's this? Look. You gotta carry it here, carry it. Hold it. Huh. Keep looking. Come on. Jurassic Park mug. I feel like we need this to match to go with our Jurassic World mug. And uh, it's got a red inside. This is really nice. I might actually have to buy this. This might be the one item I buy. How much is it? 25. 25? They have another one that's uh, shaped like an egg. And then as you can see behind it, that's the other side of it. A dinosaur coming out of the egg. So they've got some interesting looking mugs here. And look at the top. It's, you know, uh, got little bumps on it. Well, we are all done there. Uh, it took us about 45 minutes after we got in there, like through the line and everything. The line took maybe about 10 to 15 minutes for us to get through. Uh, we showed up two minutes before it opened because we had some trouble finding it, which you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, but what did you think about the, the whole thing? It was fun. It was. It was. I think James would have really liked it. The, the dinosaurs were very lifelike looking. I'd say the least lifelike looking one was the blue because um, blue was a puppet. Yeah. And it, you could see the person's legs walking but around. The T Rex was very The T Rex nice. was awesome. So was the Indominus. The Brachiosaurus at the beginning was fantastic. Um, you know, a lot of them. And, and I thought the, the most lifelike were, and I know it's just because it was their heads, but the raptors, yeah. their eye movements oh, yeah, were, were so cool. lifelike. I mean, it's because it was just their heads, it was so much. Yeah. Um, smaller details to work with but I did enjoy it the music playing the whole time uh, that was Amy's big thing they better have the they music, better have the music. <laughs> and they were and that was that was really awesome there's no food in there there's no restrooms in there keep that in mind um, and again as I mentioned in the video they do shuffle you from room to room you can't just free roam um, now you don't have to move forward if you don't want to but a lot of the sections are geared towards like there's really nothing to do if you don't move forward uh, and then a lot of it was show oriented as well, like the Indominus, yeah. like the T-Rex. Or just like line up, take a picture, yeah. and then wait until everyone's taken a picture and then move on. I did appreciate the, um, the workers, their level of enthusiasm. This is the first day, and so of course that's to be expected, but uh, the... You're saying come back on the last day yeah, and see the, how enthusiastic The T-Rex aspect, when they were like, oh, where's the key? I can't believe you lost the key. What are we doing? Like that was super fun, super cool. Um, and of course they ended with the T-Rex, it was great. Uh, so yeah, I, I had a great time here. I think it was 30 bucks a person, so it wasn't like super duper expensive. It's something that's affordable. Uh, for an hour of your time, you have to think about it. Yeah, for um, that price, maybe. Yeah, I thought it was a fun experience. When else are you gonna get to do something like this? So yeah, if you haven't done it before, come to San Diego Mission Valley Mall to do the Jurassic World, the exhibition. We or, had a great time. Or love to see where they're going. Oh yeah, there are other places too. This is not the, the first time that they have put this up somewhere. It's been all over the US, I think even internationally as well. So uh, maybe they'll be visiting a place near you, but uh, if you're local to San Diego or visiting to San Diego, come out, check out Jurassic World. The exhibition. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.